Hey, everybody, it's the coach. This is Thursday Night Football on EA Sports. We are just moments away from what should be an excellent matchup between the Los Angeles Chargers and the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'll see you again at halftime as we preview some of the action coming up on Sunday. But for now, it's Thursday Night Football. And on the call, as always, it's Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the steel capital of the world, Pittsburgh, PA, and Heinz Field. A few moments ago, the Steeler offensive starters, including all pro wideout Antonio Brown, were introduced. They've got this crowd in a frenzy as they get set to square off with the Los Angeles Chargers. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we look at this Steeler ball club entering play. And I don't think from what we saw down on the field before the game, there's any doubt they're ready to roll. They pass the eye test, don't they? This team looks fired up and ready to play. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Chargers, an early season tilt. And when it's an early season tilt, should be ready to roll. Well, let's face it, the aches and pains haven't really set in yet. And both teams... Caleb Sturgis now for the point after. And oh, it's blocked. This is going the other way. But he will not be able to bring this one back in the extra point attempt. Unsuccessful. But there's a blocked extra point. I remember playing in we player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays to target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's going to get this down. First down. On first and ten, Rivers. Throw right side, complete to Williams. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. As the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Rivers again. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off with great anticipation. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. now on Le'Veon Bell. And Charles, you can't really fault him. He's over 100 yards already. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. And right side, Henry's got it. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. That catch good for five. It's third down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad option. They'll try and run it. Here's Gordon. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. Wasn't that long ago that the NFL guys really didn't adopt much from the college game. But one thing that has crept in there is spreading things out, opening things up, not even just in tempo, but maybe could be a loss of 13 yards. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Only a yard there. Sniffed out well defensively, and it brings up third. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard. Three for four thus far. This will be third and a mile. From the gun, Rivers. Got a man, it's complete, Williams. Well, my friend, for the players, it's good for them to get that first game under their belts. For you and I, that first Thursday night game, also good for us to get that under our belts, wasn't it? It was no longer preseason. We were into the regular season, the first game of the year, 
And you know, all eyes were watching this when everyone was excited that football was back. And it's just special. You could just feel it. It's so good to have the pigskin back out there. It'll be crisp fall weather before we know it. You got that right. But I love the build up to it, right? All day long anticipating it. And then we got here and we saw get it. Get a little extra time to prepare to face the Houston Texans. Meanwhile, for our visitors, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll be off to Oakland next week for a date with the Raiders. The Pittsburgh Steelers as they get set to square off against the Houston Texans. I'll join you again at halftime to look at some of these stats and scores from earlier this afternoon. But for now, it's Sunday night football. And on the call, as always, Brandon God and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. A few moments ago, this crowd whipped into a frenzy as J.J. Watt, the Texans D, was introduced, and this unit will be in for a stern test as they match up with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Hi again, everyone, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Texan ball club entering play here. They come in off a loss in the opener last week. That one was on the road. Now they get their first taste here of home cooking. And what they're hoping to do is feed off the energy of the home crowd. Great tailgate, great fan support. Let's see if they can put it to good use. Meanwhile, for the visiting Steelers, they were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put... They'll run it here. This is Deontay Foreman. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Back to back. It certainly does. And a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game. And typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early. him, And it'll be a loss of about eight. Under four to play now. Clock running. Third down. A shotgun snap for Watson. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to come. Back, 22! Now a play fake, and it's Watson. And Watson's going to go down in the end zone. It's a safety. And Charles, at some point... He They go play action here on first down. He's letting this one go for Fuller. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 14. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. Time for the Steelers' offense now to get set third and long. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually... And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off at the 16. And that pick just sets him up beautifully right down near the goal line. I remember being in a defensive meeting back when I was in college. And our defensive coordinator says, we're going to call this be who you are defense. D linemen, you play the run. Linebackers, be aware of anything. And secondary, you play the pass. That way, you're all set, ready for whatever they put out there. Indeed, convert on fourth. Fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays have been successful throughout the game. They work with the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. It's a pickup of 5. Brings up second down. 
And we see it now. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. Roberts has it. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Again, it's Watson. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off near the 44. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them to the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well-prepared. Fresh off the pick six, it's Watson. And an alley to run. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. It'll be a gain of nine, and it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. But Charles, it's great to win at home in the NFL. When you win on the road, it's a little extra special, isn't it? It is because, let's face it, in most cases, you're not expected to go on the road and win in the National Football League. It just doesn't usually compute. So to get out there, get that done, and then head back to your city with one in, your, in the victory column, oh, that's a fantastic feeling. So for the Steelers, it was a great all-around for Houston. They'll drop to 0-2, and, and they'll be on the road next week for a matchup with the Carolina Panthers. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.